Hello everyone and welcome back to How To Magic The Gathering. Last episode we covered all the major card types and their functions in Magic The Gathering. Remember to have a look at that video if you haven't already because there are some information in that video that we will be using today. In today's video we will be going over the turns of Magic The Gathering and the different phases that they're split up into. Remember to, if you haven't already, subscribe and like the video and comment down below if there is some more information that you would want about these different phases and I will try to answer that as quickly as possible. A turn in the game consists of five different phases. The beginning phase, main phase 1, combat phase, main phase 2 and the end phase. Every phase also consists of different steps but we'll just cover the most important ones today as there are many of them. These phases separate the game into an order so that it is easier to know when you can do what and how. The beginning phase is where all resources are returned to you. All cards that have been used or tapped are restored so you have full use of them. This is also the phase where you get to draw a card. After this, main phase 1 starts. In the main phases you can play one land card and any number of other spells as long as you can pay their mana cost. After this comes the combat phase. When attacking in magic you cannot attack specific creatures. All attacks are made against the opponent and the opponent chooses if he wishes to block any of the attackers with his own creatures. The stages of this phase is quite important so we will go through them in detail. The combat phase consists of five stages. The beginning of combat, the clearing of attackers, the clearing of blockers, combat damage and the end of combat. The beginning of combat is where most players cast their instant spells to remove creatures or prevent them from attacking. This is also where beginning of combat abilities are triggered. With that done, the declaring of attacker step begins. This is the step where attacking players declare what creatures to attack the opponent with. When attackers have been declared, we enter the declare blocker step. Here the defending player gets to choose what attackers he wishes to block using his own creatures. Note that several creatures can block a single attacker, and this is sometimes a requirement depending on the creature. After the declare blocker step, we enter the combat damage. Here most instant spells are cast as both players have locked in their choices of attackers and blockers. Spells that only deal damage are cast here to make sure that enemy creatures die if your creature lacks damage, or buffs are cast to make sure that the creature survives. When the creature has dealt damage to each other or the opponent, we enter the end of combat step. Here all abilities that trigger at the end of combat goes off. The combat phase is the most advanced one in magic and takes some time to get your head around. When mastered, the combat phase holds many surprises on how you can use the mechanics to prevent or cause more damage. After this we enter the second main phase. This one is exactly like the first one. This is also where most players choose to play their creatures unless they have a benefit to the combat phase. The reason for this is that you want to wait as long as possible for the enemy player to waste his mana in the combat phase so that he cannot react to you playing your creatures. When you have finished the second main phase we enter the end phase. This is the last chance your opponent gets to cast any spells during your turn. Many players wait until this point to use any leftover mana they have to cast spells that does not impact the board directly. This is also where any effects that occur on the end step takes effect. And that is all the phases in Magic the Gathering. There are ways to use these phases that you would not expect, but we will go through those in another video. If you have any more questions about the turns and the phases, remember to comment down below all your questions and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Also remember to subscribe and like this video if you want more from this series, and I will upload that as fast as I can. I have been Udalad, and I will see you next time.